I know I I've told you guys about um what I think Android Twenty One Lab Coat is gonna do for Dragon Ball Fighters um, now because we know, and of course my predictions for what was that season three were wrong. Now of course because we know there's another season coming. Um, I want to try to see if I can figure out who my well i won't say we know another season is coming that not has that has not been confirmed the way android 21 lab coat has been they just pretty much came out and said hey look we're giving you guys android 21 lab coat she's going to be in the game and then i believe her name is harada came out and was saying that they're planning on supporting dragon ball fighters more so um it's going to be pretty interesting to see what they're going to do but me personally what i think they're about to do is i think the next the next slew of characters they're going to release, I think they're going to be Dragon Ball GZ characters, right? The reason I say that is because the last two characters that were released in the last patch or the last pack were GT characters. And then they went as far as adding the little Goku from Dragon Ball GT, which, of course, to everybody out there was a big letdown because we wanted to see Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku. But they ended up giving us the little Goku. But they teased us with a little bit of Super Saiyan 4 Goku and GT Goku level 3. Of course, after you lose a character, you do level 3 with GT Goku and he'll turn into Super Saiyan 4 and unleash the Dragon Fist. Um, so, I, 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 me personally, I was one of those that were, I was a bit disappointed seeing that um, they took that route instead of actually giving us Super Saiyan 4 or Goku. But I think that's coming. I think that's coming because, of course, they've been hinting at their support for GT characters since they released GT Goku in uh, Fighters Pack 2. I think GT Goku came out in the second pack because the last one had UI Goku, Kefla, Baby, Super Baby 2... Gogeta, you know, characters of that nature. Roshi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you can see their support for GT characters. Now, who do I think they're going to add? I think they're going to do... If they do anything, they should just do a six-pack... Uh, a six-character pack. Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Goku. Super 17. Or they could do five characters either way. Super 17, Nova Shinron, Ice Shinron, and Omega Shinron. So that'll be six characters. Just like the original, the, the first pack that we got um, as DLC. That would be six characters and that'll be, that would be really dope because um, who knows what they've got for us next. You know what I'm saying in regards to characters. Um, now, in regards to patching the fighting and things of that nature, I don't think that's happening again. I think they're done with that in particular unless... We get those six characters, and they seem to be, like, kind of wonky a little bit, which I don't really see happening because Arxis has been doing pretty good in regards to the characters they release and their abilities, you know, their their capabilities, the mobility, all the abilities. <laughs> Even their combos look pretty great. One of the characters that I am very fond of, which I need to try to do a little bit more labbing with, is S. Broly. I really like S. Broly, and they took that character and embodied the way he behaved in the movie and put it in the game. I think everything that they did, it was just, it was phenomenal. Uh, they did a great job with that character. And they also did a really good job with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. They did, a, they did a great job with all of the DLC characters, man, to be honest with you. Only two characters that I wasn't really that fond of to, to, to be blunt would be base Vegeta and base Goku. I, I, I didn't really like that. Um, but just to get back on topic... Those are the characters I think they're going to... If if Harada... If what Harada said is actually going to happen... I think her name is Harada. I might be mistaken. Um, but she said that they were going to support Dragon Ball Fighters further. So if they plan on doing that... I do think that the next pack would be a GT, a GT pack. Now whether or not they add Nova and Ice Shinron... Which I think would be really cool... Because they would bring a different flavor to the game... Just in regards to what they can do as individuals, um, Nova Shinron being that he burns you and it, it, it it's kind of got a, like a lasting effect, and Ice Shinron being that he freezes you, would would kind of give it. 
I don't want to say a bit of an MK feel, but it would give that appearance with the super, uh, super, um, zero, sub zero and scorpion type of thing. You know, that dynamic that you have between those two. Um, but of course, I'm not expecting for them to behave or play the same way, you know, with the, with the spear and the freeze, um, the ice launch projectiles and all of those clones and things like that. Just something that, that lasts for like maybe a second and then it's over. Um, they would probably have really flashy level threes. Same with um, Omega Shinron. I think Omega Shinron's would just be the, the negative uh, Super Ball that he does. Where he harnesses the energy from the Dragon Balls from out his chest. And then he kind of it shows up above him and he hurls it at you, of course. Now, they would have to do a little bit extra with Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Goku seeing as... Well, just Goku, seeing as they've already gave the tiny GT Goku, the Dragon Fist Explosion Super. I don't know what they do in regards to level 3 for GT or Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But me personally, I know Android Lab Coat doesn't point toward there being a GT pack. But based on their history and their of course their support of the gt characters i think that's what's next because you can't give us super saiyan 4 gogeta and not give us omega shinron right because super saiyan 4 gogeta showed up for omega shinron and they gave us baby vegeta and no super saiyan 4 goku you know so to me it it it, it sets it off a little bit because there was um there should be an even balancing of the characters in regards to their releasing and the way they did it just kind of kind of threw things out of whack releasing baby vegeta no super saiyan 4 goku and then releasing super saiyan 4 gogeta no omega shinron so i think they're going to try to even that out but um as far as predictions for what they're going to do in regards to characters that is what i think is going to happen i think they're going to do a gt pack in which they would have enough slots to release about five or six characters if they wanted to, where they could just do five or four, seeing as they would do Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, Goku, Super 17, and Omega Shinron. Now, um, they could add those extra two, being those Nova and Ice Shinron, but who knows, maybe they won't. There could be a little bit too much that goes into those two characters, and I would understand that because they have some moves that are, they, they just happen to do damage or special effects over time so this this isn't that kind of game this is a different kind of game um so i wouldn't be surprised if they didn't make it into the game but you guys get in the comment section let me know what you think uh arxis is going to do in regards to character releases do you guys think they're going to do a theme pack do you think that even after the fourth pack if there is one because this is not confirmed this is just all speculation do you guys think that even after that fourth pack if it is a thing are they going to do a fifth pack uh, if they do a fifth pack to me, I think it should be movie characters, more movie characters. Um, Tapion, Hachiak, I like Hachiak as a character individually. He was one of the tougher characters. Tuffel, not tougher. He was one of the tougher characters. Uh, Bojack, Zangia, which will give us another female character, you know, things of that nature. But we'll have to wait and see. You guys get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about everything. Let me know your predictions. And, um,. Yeah, you guys know what else to do. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.